Today we will discuss trigonometry part 2 for IIT foundation course powered by Perfect Academy, Focofitro Educational Services LLP, Velacheri Chennai. You can contact us at 9543139334. We hope that all of you have gone through our previous upload <coughs> trigonometry part 1 and already subscribed to our YouTube channel. Get best video lecture, free study material, assignments and free online test on our website. Well, after discussing the initial theoretical part for IIT foundation level for the chapter of trigonometry, let us see a few of the application through numericals of whatever formulas we have learned so far. In this problem, they are asking, using the information given in the figure, write the values of trigonometric ratios of angle C. And here is the figure provided for our information. Well, our requirement is to find out all trigonometric ratios for the angle C. So basically this angle C will be R theta. And to write all the trigonometric ratios, as we know, what we initially require is with respect to this theta, this will be opposite, this will be adjacent and this is hypotenuse and from our table of OHA, HOA, I will be able to write all the trigonometric ratios quickly, sin, cos, tan, cot, sec, cosec using the arrows in clockwise manner. Well, so we know sine of theta is nothing but opposite by hypotenuse. So for angle C, opposite is 8 centimeter which is AB, 8 divided by hypotenuse is 10. So if I will reduce it, it will become definitely 4 by 5. So sine theta is equal to 4 by 5. Similarly, we can calculate cos theta as adjacent by hypotenuse which will be equal to 6 by 10 that is that is definitely 3 by 5 fine so after calculating sin and cos rest of the job is very easy because we know tan theta is nothing but sin theta by cos theta so i'll be able to calculate tan theta from sin theta and cos theta which will be 4 by 5 by 3 by 5. So 5 5 will get cancelled and I will get tan theta is equal to 4 by 3. Also from the reciprocal theorem we know sin theta and cosec theta are reciprocals of each other. So cosec theta will be equal to reciprocal of sin theta that is 5 by 4. Similarly sec theta is reciprocal of cos theta that is equal to 5 by 3 and also we know cot theta is reciprocal of tan theta which will be equal to 3 by 4. <coughs> so by using a simple angle and the geometrical information we can calculate all the trigonometric ratios as you can see in this described solution sin theta that is sin c is equal to 4 by 5 cos c is 3 by 5, then tan c, cot c, all the values are determined in systematic manner, which you can also record as your answer. Let us see the next problem. In this question, in a right angle triangle ABC, if angle A is acute angle, acute angle represents the angle less than 90 degree, tan A is equal to 3 by 4, Find the remaining trigonometric ratios of angle A. Basically, in few of these type of questions, they may not give you the diagram of the triangle. So, we have to construct the diagram. So, let us learn right from the basic how to construct that diagram and how to find out remaining values. In triangle ABC, right angle triangle ABC, angle A is acute. So, I will take any of the angle as A. Let me consider here this as A this as B and this is C. 
so b will be basically 90 degree that is angle b is right angle right and with respect to tan of with respect to angle a they are defining other values so for me bc will be opposite this is adjacent and this will be hypotenuse fine now the next thing according to the given information i can say tan a is equal to 3 by 4 right basically tan a is the ratio of opposite side by adjacent side so opposite side represents bc okay and adjacent side represents ab so definitely this bc should be 3 into some constant x and ab should be 4 into some constant x okay instead of x if x is a variable you can take k also as a constant so i will consider bc as 3k and ab as 4k because if i will take the ratio now 3k by 4k kk will get cancelled and i will say tan a is equal to 3 by 4 by using the Pythagoras theorem now, I will be able to say <coughs> AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. So, AC should be equal to root of AB square plus BC square. Now, AB square is nothing but 4K that is 16K square plus BC is 3K so 9K square. So, I will be getting root of 25K square. The root of it will be definitely 5K. So, the hypotenuse is 5K. So, the same triangle they have also got, okay, and we have constructed the triangle. Now, the remaining ratios we can find out quite easily by using the previous method. So, with respect to tan, with respect to angle A, I can define sin A, which is opposite by hypotenuse. So, it should be 3k by 5k, that is nothing but 3 by 5. I can define cos A, which is adjacent that is 4k by hypotenuse 5k that is 4 by 5 similarly by using sine i can define cosec which will be 5 by 3 by using cos i can define sec which will be sec a which will be definitely 5 by 4 okay and we can also find out cot a straight away from the given value of tan a because tan and cot are reciprocals of each other cot a will be 4 by 3. So, you can see the solution here. Initially, you have to construct the triangle. Okay. So, for angle A, they have given the ratio of tan A, which is nothing but perpendicular by base, that is opposite by adjacent, that is what we call. Okay. So, 3 by 4. And I will be considering they are in proportion with some constant k. So, I will be able to write BC is equal to 3k and AB is equal to 4k instead of mentioning x. So, let us see this example 3. In this problem, in a triangle ABC, right angle at B, BC is equal to 5 centimeter and angle BAC, angle A basically is 30 degree. Find the length of the sides AB and AC. Okay, AB and AC. Now, first of all, if you remember, we have written a table for trigonometric ratios for various angles in that 30 degree was one of the most important angle where we have calculated the various values 30 degrees. For 30 degrees, if you remember, we have written sine of 30 is equal to 1 by 2. Now, this all information we got from one of the triangles, standard triangle which we called as 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Okay, we have considered this hypotenuse as 1, fine, and we have learned that the side opposite to 30 degree will be 1 by 2 of hypotenuse and side opposite to 60 degree will be root 3 by 2 times that of hypotenuse. So, sin 30 is basically 1 by 2, right, because opposite by hypotenuse, that is 1 by 2, and cos 30 will be equal to root 3 by 2, that of hypotenuse, okay. Now, here in this case, if I will take sin of A, right, sin of A, it has to be 
opposite by hypotenuse this is opposite this is hypotenuse and this is adjacent so opposite will be bc hypotenuse will be ac right and that has to be equal to that has to be equal to 1 by 2 because sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 so i should be able to calculate ac by using this ac should be equal to twice of bc already we know the length of bc so i can say 2 into 5 that is 10 centimeter now once we are getting this we should be able to find out what is ab okay by even using pythagoras theorem or by using the cos value because we know cos of a will be adjacent by hypotenuse that is ab by ac that should be equal to root 3 by 2 so ab must be equal to root 3 by 2 into ac but ac is nothing but 10 so i can substitute that value of 10 and i can get ab is equal to root 3 by 2 into 10 that is 5 root 3 okay so ab is equal to 5 root 3 so we got all the values ab is equal to 5 root 3 and ac is equal to 10 centimeter same you can find out in the solution described here fine now in this example 4 they are asking us to calculate few things now basically without looking at this solution if we'll just take it as a problem they are asking us to find out evaluate sin 30 plus tan 45 minus cosec 60 divided by sec 30 plus cos 60 plus cot of 45 well now we have already written the entire table by using the three triangles so if you want you can refer to our video one on trigonometry of course to understand how we have written all these values here i am going to take the values directly which suggests first of all let us consider this sin 30 sin 30 recently we have seen it is 1 by 2 plus tan 45 at sin, sin 45 and cos 45 both are 1 by root 2 the ratio of them will be 1 so tan 45 is 1 now cosec 60 cosec 60 is a reciprocal of sin 60 so we know sin 60 is equal to root 3 by 2 right so cosec 60 has to be 2 by root 3 divided by sec 30 sec 30 has to be reciprocal of cos 30 so cos 30 is equal to yes root 3 by 2 so it should be 2 by root 3 then we have cos 60 again cos 60 is definitely 1 by 2 and cot 45 is again 1 so if i will simplify this i will get 1 by 2 plus 1 that is 3 by 2 minus 2 by root 3 divided by i will get it as 2 by root 3 okay plus 3 by 2 now if i will simplify this okay to make the common denominator i will be getting it as 3 root 3 minus 4 divided by 3 root 3 plus 4 of course the denominator for the numerator that is 2 root 3 and for the denominator 2 root 3 will get cancelled now here onwards also we can simplify this this method is called as a rationalization in this method of rationalization we multiply the numerator and denominator by using the term called as a conjugate in conjugate we have suppose if you have the number a plus b then we will multiply the denominator by a minus b so that finally we will be getting it as a square minus b square so i'll use this 3 root 3 minus 4 divided by 3 root 3 plus 4 now if i multiply this numerator and denominator by 3 root 3 minus 4 so that i'll be able to use a square minus b square relation 
I'll get 3 root 3 minus 4 the whole square divided by 3 root 3 the whole square minus 4 the whole square right so 3 root 3 the whole square if I'll calculate I'll be getting it as 3 square that is 9 okay root 3 square that is definitely 3 minus 4 into 3 that is 12 12 24 root 3 plus 16 divided by 3 root 3 the whole square again I will be getting it as 9 into 3 that is 27 minus 4 square that is 16 so this 20, 27 plus 16 will be 43 minus 24 root 3 divided by 27 minus 16 will be 11 so this, this should be our final answer as you can tally it with the given solution fine now this question is little bit tricky but very easy to solve without using the table show that show that they are asking us cos 35 degrees into cos 55 degrees minus sin 35 degrees into sin 55 degrees is equal to 0 now first of all I would like to remind you before we go to solution of this about the complementary angles let's say if I have A, B, C okay and if I consider C as theta this A will become 90 minus theta and we can write sine of theta is equal to cos of 90 minus theta and so on all the ratios in the same manner we can write that is cos of theta is equal to sine of 90 minus theta etc etc. Now in the given LHS, if you will find out, you can get initially cos 35 and cos 55 minus sin 35 we have, right, sin 35. Now sin 35 can be definitely written as cos of 90 minus 35, so let us try that, cos of 90 minus 35 and sin 55 can be written as cos of 90 minus 55 so if I will consider both these ratios I should get initially as it is cos 35 cos 55 degrees minus cos 90 minus 35 has to be cos 55 into cos 90 minus 55 has to be cos 35 so if I will simply algebraically add them in the process I will be getting LHS is equal to 0 which is the required proof. The same steps are followed here to get the solution. Fine. Now in the next problem they are saying if tan of 2a is equal to cot of a minus 18 degrees okay where 2a is an acute angle find the values of a for this also you can uh, you know find out uh, the geometrical diagram and solve this but let's try to go for the simplified method okay by using this uh, using some fundamental relations what we have learned so far we have tan of 2a given as cot of a minus 18 degrees right so this is the given statement I will call it as number 1 now I also know tan of 2a can be written as cot of 90 minus 2a right from complementary angle relations so if I will compare equation 1 and 2 and if I liquid them I should get cot of a minus 18 degrees should be equal to cot of 90 minus 2a right as cot of both the angles for example if cot of x is equal to cot of y definitely i can say x is equal to y so by using the same principle i can say a minus 18 degrees has to be 90 minus 2a right so i should get 3a is equal to 90 plus 18 right so 3a is equal to 100 and 8 degrees and hence A is equal to 36 degrees. 
so this is our value of p right fine the next part what we have to learn is application of trigonometry as i have said in the beginning in the introductory part about the trigonometry the trigonometry is widely applicable branch of mathematics and it is very commonly used in other fields like the physics particularly in the field of mechanics it is extensively used and also it supports the other branches of mathematics like calculus okay to estimate so many other things in the practical life now at the iit foundation level if we will consider trigonometry as the topic here are some practical applications of the trigonometry are given for example before we could define the angle of elevation for example let us say if you are an observer who is observing an aeroplane which is flying at an altitude of let's say h kilometer or meter okay then exactly at what distance the aeroplane is on the ground okay or this horizontal distance you can calculate or the distance if the horizontal distance where the exactly aeroplane is is known to you let us say x then you can calculate the distance between you and the aeroplane so this is you know some of the practical applications of the trigonometry now if the horizontal reference line is drawn from your eyes that is the eyes of the observer okay then the straight line which you are joining with the object and this horizontal reference line will make some angle theta this angle theta is nothing but angle of elevation so this shows how steep the object is or how far the object is above your reference of line so angle of elevation is the angle between the horizontal line drawn through the observer eye and line joining the eye to any of the object is called as angle of elevation well now as i have given you the example of this aeroplane let us say it is 300 let's say 300 meter um, above the ground okay which is fairly less uh, you know less altitude so 300 meter above the ground and the point from which this vertical distance is measured is 400 meter away from your eyes and if we have to find out first of all this angle of elevation okay angle of elevation then what we can do we can take the ratio tan of x degrees is equal to 300 by 400 which is nothing but 3 by 4 so x degrees can be written as tan inverse of 3 by 4 right tan inverse of 3 by 4 and also you can calculate see this tan inverse of 3 by 4 you will be learning at particularly in the chapter called as a inverse trigonometry how to estimate it mathematically and how to operate with them but there are logarithmic tables available who will give you directly the value of the angle x degrees if you know tan inverse of it that is tan inverse of 3 by 4 for example if we know uh, tan of theta is equal to uh, is equal to 1 then i can say theta is equal to tan inverse of 1 now we know tan becomes 1 when theta reaches to 45 degree at least within first 90 degrees so when theta is equal to 45 degree tan theta is equal to 1 right and hence we can say here theta is equal to tan inverse of 1 is equal to 45 degree now this is a little bit of odd values 3 by 4 which you may not be able to estimate directly so you have to find out it by using the logarithmic table but anyway in our next few lectures when we upload the lectures for 11th and 12th standard if you are interested how to find it out you will be able to get it from those videos so the point of the matter is angle of elevation is the angle between the line which is connecting observer and the object and the line reference line which is drawn from the eyes of the observer 
Similarly, we can understand this angle of depression. Suppose if the observer is at the top and the object is coming like this, for example, the ship is shown here, which is at some distance from this uh, observation tower. So if we have to find out the exact distance, okay, exact distance between the observer and the ship or the tower and the ship, then this angle will play the very vital role. Okay, so again, if I will measure the angle between the reference line drawn from the observer eyes and the line connecting the observer and the object, this angle will be referred as angle of depression. Right? Now, this angle of depression directly, if I if will consider this as a theta, then this becomes 90 minus theta. So, I will be able to estimate all other trigonometric ratios and hence the side of this, um, uh, you know, virtual right angle triangle by using this 90 minus theta. So, angle of depression, the angle between the horizontal line drawn through the observer eye and the line joining the eye to any object is called as angle of depression. So, we have learned the angle of inclination and angle of depression. Okay, so let's see a few of the applications of it. Here this problem says an observer is 1.5 meter tall. An observer 1.5 meter tall is 28.5 meter away from the tower of 30 meter height. Determine the angle of elevation okay, of the top of the tower from his eyes. So let's describe it. We have a tower which is let's say like this and of height of 30 meter. Now the observer is there which is 1.5 meter tall. So here let us say the observer is which is 1.5 meter tall. Okay. And if I will draw the line horizontal line this distance remaining distance only I will be considering now for calculating the angle because the observer eyes are here okay they are not exactly at the ground if the height of the tower is too much like in several hundred meters then probably you will be able to neglect this distance and take it right from the ground but this distance will become now 28.5 meter 30 minus 1.5 will become 28.5 so this much tower only in fact he is observing above his eyes. Now if I will connect this, the angle theta made between the line which is joining the object and this horizontal reference line is our angle of elevation. So they have given the observer is standing from the tower at a distance of 28.5 meter. Okay and uh, it is 1.5 meter tall so that gives us a triangle something like this this is 28.5 meter this is also 28.5 meter even though it doesn't look like but from the mathematical case it is 28.5 meter and we have to find out the theta now in this case let me name it as abc in this case where angle c is angle of elevation if i will take the tan of theta it will come as AB by BC that is nothing but 28.5 divided by 28.5 that is nothing but 1. Now when tan of theta is equal to 1 we should know that theta is equal to 45 degrees and hence angle of elevation <coughs> is equal to 45 degrees right. So you can see the same thing drawn here systematically for your reference you can record it fine in the next problem the captain of an aeroplane flying at an altitude of 1000 meters sights two ships as shown in the figure if the angle of depressions are 60 degrees and 30 degrees find the distance between the ships okay so now this is the aeroplane which is flying 
at certain altitude that they have given as 1000 meter and because of that he is observing you will be able to observe of, of course at a wide range so let's say i have two ships ship p and ship q which are <coughs> at some distance from the aeroplane of course and from the point where we are measuring this vertical altitude of the aeroplane let's say p is at x meter and q is at y meter and they are asking you to find out if the angle of depressions are 30 degree and 60 degree then they are asking you to find out what is this x plus y that is distance between two ships distance between ships right so that we have to find out so for that what i will do individually i will try to find out x and y and simply i will add them now for the ship p as the angle of depression is 60 degree i know this angle this angle should be equal to from the geometry of the triangle this should be 90 minus 60 that is 30 degree right so this angle becomes 30 degree and this angle obviously as this angle of depression is 30 degree this will become 60 degree so particularly angle PAB is equal to 30 degree and angle QAB is equal to 60 degree now if I will use individually these two right angle triangles PBA of course P is 90 degree this is 30 degree okay if this is 30 definitely this is 60 degree right now this is x meter which we have to calculate and this is 1000 meter now we know definitely tan of 60 is equal to sine of 60 by cos of 60 right now sine 60 we already know it is root 3 by 2 into hypotenuse okay so root 3 by 2 basically and cos 60 has to be 1 by 2 so if you don't remember tan 60 directly you can find out by using this that is it is root 3 right now for this case if i will consider this tan 60 then i will get it as tan 60 is equal to ab that is 1000 divided by x and this 1000 divided by x has to be root 3 because both are representing tan 60 so x should be equal to 1000 divided by root 3 so this will be equation number 1 by considering the other triangle a b q where this a is nothing but this a is nothing but 60 degree and this q is nothing but 30 degree right <coughs> so with respect to this 30 degree if i will take tan of theta this i know as 1000 and this bq is y so tan of 30 if i will take it is nothing but sin 30 by cos 30 that is sin 30 is 1 by 2 okay and uh, cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2 so it will be 1 by root 3 so i can equate 1 by root 3 is equal to tan of q that is 1000 divided by y so y has to be root 3 into 1000 so we got y is equal to root 3 into 1000 x is equal to 1000 by root 3 so distance between two ships ships is x plus y that is 1000 by root 3 plus root 3 into 1000 now if i will take this 1000 common then i will be getting it as 1 by root 3 plus root 3 which you can further simplify as 1 plus root 3 into root 3 that is 3 by root 3 ok so 1000 1 plus 3 ok 1 plus 3 divided by root 3 or i can finally write it as 4000 by root 3 isn't it so this is the distance in terms of meter between two ships well you can record this solution 
Now if you will simplify, you will be getting the answers. Fine. Here the answers are simplified in terms of decimals. We hope that this video should have contributed something to you and has improved your basic trigonometric concepts at least for the students of 9th and 10th standards 10th standard who are preparing for